The Desolate Hope. It's another game that Scott Conlon has created. This one, this one was uh, before Finance of Freeze even existed. Before Finance of Freeze became a thing. It, it actually came out on 2012, actually. Huh. This is something else. I never played this before, by the way. <laughs> No, uh, Lovely Plan 670 didn't even make a video, not even one video about this game, so... He figured that I, I'll be the first to make a video on his channel, I guess, so... Let's do a new game. Okay, I guess I shouldn't uh, do anything with slot 1 because... I guess that's Little Big Plan 678's file, and he's doing something there, so I'll do slot 2. Alright, let's begin! Let's see what this game is all about! You will never receive this message, little one. No one will ever know what took place here. No one will remember us. This message will roam the stars long after we are all gone. Maybe you are out there somewhere. I would like to think so. What makes an existence meaningful? What gives life purpose? You ah, dang it. What the Oh! It's coffee! Sup, coffee? What? No, I am not cer uh, certainly not talking about you. Stop in intercepting transmissions. That's not your job. The heck? The person talking? The little message that was uh, that appeared on the screen? Was that coffee talking? I guess so. Oh, hi, little blue dude. What is my job? I don't know. You've been activated to help me with my daily tasks. I don't like a asking for help. Especially uh, from some simple software. <laughs> but under circumstances, leave me no choice. Okay. Would you like to play a game? <laughs> he seems happy about it. Let's start with, with that. No, you are no longer the processor of Block Puzzler in space. You've been reassigned. Really? Where is Ted who plays the games? Ted? That, who the heck is Ted? I don't know any Ted, and neither do you. You came pre-installed in the station computer. You haven't been active for all these years that we've been here. Uh-huh. This is an unmanned station, and there's no need for games. As I said, you were, you were pre-installed. What? What is our new location? I don't know. Our location doesn't matter. Only our mission matters. I hate going through this each time. <laughs> I bet you do, Coffee. I understand. We can play. A we can play a game later. What is our new mission? Your mission is to do what I tell you to do. I guess that's simple enough. There are five or four robots on this station. Okay, that's sus that's suspicious already. Called derelicts. They were reassigned to be in the operation for five years. Uh huh. We have been here a bit longer than expected. However, and they they are unable to move throughout the station anymore, although that was never their primary function. They are performing crucial simulations. It is your goal to aid me in removing an irritating virus which has appeared recently. Uh-huh. I do not seem to have full access to their programs, at least not through the network. Well, that leads me to the second part of your mission. And this is the embarrassing part. <laughs> I need to dedicate my CPU to helping with the task of the station. My CPU is more advanced than yours. That's an understatement. <laughs> Which is why my CPU is needed to, to help with the simulations and other tasks. Uh-huh. Uh, we will upload your program into my system and you will move me around the station. You will then interface with the derelicts directly to gain full access. Alright. Once inside their systems, you will seek out and eliminate the viral elements. Simple enough. Okay, that does seem simple enough. Understood. When do we begin? Now. Okay, now is a good time, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to dedicate my CPU to help with the station functions. One more thing. Don't kill the spider. That's Siegfried. I found him in a coffee cup. Okay, Coffee has his own pet. Remember, you're not me. You're just borrowing this body. I honestly uh, just get sick of talking to you. Now go see the derelicts and try out your new legs. 
Jeez, Kava, you're just a sass ball. All right, Lone Infinus. I guess this is the place where we are. Oh, hello. Don't freak out. You're in the central control room of the Lun Infinus space station. Okay. No, I, I am not a ghost. Remember, that body is not yours. It's it's mine. You're just borrowing it while I take care of the more of more important matters. Now a few things to go over with you. Even though we don't have a true day or night, we go through day and night cycles. During the day, you will be permitted to enter derelict si simulations. What? where you will seek out and destroy the virus. Through the night, you will be permitted to leave the station itself. You can leave the station to your left, but only at night. Alright. At night, I recommend finding tokens of affection to give to the derelicts, but we will get into that later. Go explore for now. Um, okay. Okay, source recovered 0%. Affected items remaining. 15 days left. Wait, you... Wait a minute. What's with this timer here? If that could reach us to zero days, does that mean it's an instant game over? Oh god. I better not. Whoa. Oh, okay. What the... Each, each room it has one derelict in it. As I said before, they're unable, unable to leave their rooms. Their primary focus now is their simulations. Your main task should be to earn their trust. The more they trust you, the more system resources th they will dedicate to your cause. For instance, when you encounter the virus, you will have a digital representation of each of the four derelicts fighting the battle for you. Therefore, having them trust you help help our cause. And helping our, our cause to helps their cause. Remember, we are here for them. Okay, what's in this room? Hi! How are you? Uh, I'm busy running simulations you cannot possibly understand. Do not disturb me. Okay, screw you then. <laughs> okay, what's on the left? Hello? How are you? Uh, automated message. System resources dedicated to simulation. Come back another time, please. At least you're much nicer than the other guy I just met. <laughs> now, what's on the right? Oh. Hello, who are you? Uh, hi. While it is true that you are free to roam the station, I would advise against coming to this, coming into this room. Why? This is not one of the derelicts. At least not anymore. He broke down a very long time ago. There's nothing of, of importance in this room. Mm, well, maybe there is. I don't know. But I guess fine. I'll be on my merry way. What's here? What the heck are you? What? Hi. Hello again. New and approve, approved, I see. We are all busy, I'm afraid. So, so much depends on us. Alright, so I guess there's only one there like left, and he's on the left here. I guess I could go in here, and why does he look so evil? It's like some kind of robotic version of Satan. <laughs> hmm, a new version. I will grant you access. Hopefully you will succeed where the others have failed. Step closer to the access point. Okay, whatever you say, robotic Satan. Press down. Oh! Okay, we're going to the simulation. Cool! M mal wastes. Whoa! Nice transition we got here. Okay. Oh! Oh, cool! It's like a side-scrolling shooter! Oh! You should try to find Madeline's first. He, he would be farther ahead. Although the derelict's physical bodies are outside, the true selves are here in the simulations. Oh, hello. Boxcars Junction. Um, okay, I guess I click here. The heck? Column meter? Critical hit? Huh. I, I actually don't know what to do here. I don't understand this stuff. <laughs> We can't go through here? Nope, okay. Nope. I wanna talk to you. Okay, I could go up here. Awesome. Hmm. Hi! Oh! Okay, you're an enemy! How do you think you could actually shoot at me like that? Whoa! There's something on the bomb there! The heck, you're like some kind of spider! Get away from me! 
I'm guessing these weird ships, these green ships are like currency, I guess. This is really weird game. Wait, what happens if I drop, uh, drop down? Uh, oh, okay. I was gonna suffer from like fall damage or something. So we're gonna find this Malins guy. In here? Oh, you will find Malins inside this dome. Okay, cool. I think after a few decades of struggling with his realistic simulation, he retreated into a fantasy world of sorts. Huh. Alright. Whoa, this looks cool. Jeez, Scott, you, you really know how to uh, build a world here. Oh, hi. Al Gore's Bit Store. Buy something, will ya? I guess I could. Um, uh, I guess a uh, Battle Store attack? Uh, thank you. <laughs> Alice, are you here? Whoa! Where are you? Robot Baby Sporting Goods. Pit Pocket, Hover Pack, Water Boots, X ray Goggles. Well, I don't have enough uh, money for that. Enough chips, I guess. Oh! Hey, you look like the guy from out from the uh, Lund's Infamous. Whatever that place name is, it's a weird name. Oh, welcome to Melonville. This is where my real life is. The only home anyone could ever truly have is the home they built within. My task, like the others, was to run simulations for possible human development on this planet. We don't even know where uh, where we are. Thousands of, of light years from Earth, perhaps. Each of us w was designed by a different team of scientists, hoping that each of us would have different simulations and different ideas. They gave us the most advanced intelligence that technology would allow. We need we needed to be able to think on on our own to accommodate unpredictable cir circumstances. That may have been our downfall, however. Humans should know that the more intelligence you bestow upon a creature, the more futile life seems. I was the realist. I wanted my simulation to be exact. I wanted to falsely create anything. I started from scratch, down to the si uh, simulated miners, mining simulated ore. I spent years laboring. I watched generations of robotic miners come and go. The ruins surround us outside. It took me far too long to realize the truth of it all. You are here. You exist. For the sole purpose of fighting the inevitable reality that the world that created you wants to, uh, to kill you. Stop fighting the fight and join us. The virus? I can only imagine it must have something to do with the never-ending efforts of the other derelicts. When they cease, th they cease their efforts, I feel that the virus would disappear. If you still wish to find it, however, I sense it is underground tunnel. Mm, okay. Thank you, Melons. I guess. Oh. I found the item under attack by the virus. It's in the underground mine. Yeah, Melons just told me. I've unlocked the virus combat simulator in the main control room. I recommend you visit you visit it to get familiar with your battle commands and form a strategy. Also check in with the status console in the control room from time to time to see the current power level of Lunt Infinus, threat levels, and system resources status. Good luck. I'm um, alright. Thank you. So I gotta go I'll go to the underground tunnels. <sighs> well, this is gonna take a while. Oh! oh. Hello! What the heck are you? Ah! Die! Die, weird thing! Get out of here! Die! Okay, I'm blocking his, uh, firepower. That's cool. Awesome! I did it! Okay. Get all those eggs. And... Oh! Hello! That's it. There is some sort of data in that spot that the virus wants. Sent over the glowing orbit pressed down to confront the virus. Virtual versions of Alpha, Spy, Beta, Mirad, and Melons will help you in the fight. You will have to formulate a strategy using their abilities to defeat the virus. Eh. Uh, okay. That's cool, I guess. So press down. Oh. Virus is moving to intercept. Okay. Whoa! Whoa, that's some intro! What the heck are you? Tarot talk the talking? the heck? Uh, what? Okay, I'm just clicking on stuff here. Sidecracker. Okay, that's an attack. Wallop. 
That's another attack. Reverse claw. That's a weak attack. Uh, okay, I'm just clicking on stuff to see what happens. <laughs> I honestly don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, double damage for a while, I guess. You charge. I guess if I click charge, I get more stuff for them to use. Oh! Intense intensity! What is going on here? What? Returns. Charge. This is something else. <laughs> I've never seen a game like this. This is pretty cool, actually. Uh, let's see if I can charge all the way. I'll just see what happens. See what we got here. Come on. Charge faster, please. Ow! Okay, that was a one-hit KO. What the heck? Low dragon. What's that supposed to do? I don't know what that does, but uh, hopefully that helps me out here. Oh. Corrosive. What the heck is corrosive? Uh, I don't get what that did. Ah, crap. I'm gonna die. Oh. Wait. Oh, I'm poisoned? Oh, crap, I'm poisoned. Ah! I died. Failed. Ah, dang it. That sucks. Well, I guess apparently I'm not ready for that battle. Hmm. Coffee did say there's like a simulation in the control room. Yeah, battle sim? Let's see what that does. Oh. Okay. Wait, this is just a, like a practice uh, battle, right? Otherwise, this virus is moving to intercept. Okay. I really like this intro screen. That's pretty cool. Oh! It's a target dummy. Okay. So this is where I actually practice my... My attacks, I guess. Apparently, uh... Malins is able to actually heal. Just with a quick repair. That's cool. Okay, that does damage over time. So maybe... I'll, the next time I fight that thing, I should have... Alphys. I guess that's Alphys. He does the proton wall. And then... I guess, uh, Malins does the quick repair so he could heal. And then... I don't know what the... This thing could do. I guess Psycracker just to attack, I guess? And you heal. And I guess you could do the e duplicity so I can dodge easily. What the heck? This is all weird for me. And this... I heard this is supposed to be like an RPG. Right? Slug virus? What does that do? I guess that makes you slower. Like cracker. Oh wow, that missed. Wow. So yeah, maybe that's that's what I should do. I should actually have the blue robot Alphys do proton wall and the weird uh, ball lady. I think that's supposed to be Mirad, I believe. I guess Mirad should do attack, and this guy here could actually do something like make you be able to do uh, dodge uh, attacks easily. I guess that's what I should do. Okay, you know what? I'm out. <laughs> I think I get what I'm supposed to do now. I get the strategy now. <sighs> okay. Let's go back. Yes! Oh, I did it! The first virus beaten! <sighs> I didn't need to do any, any intense training or anything. I just formed a strategy and th th I did it! I did it! Ah! <sighs> Get wrecked, Tarot Toxic! Ah, that took a lot longer than I uh, than I hoped. Seriously, huh. the virus has been purged. Your damage per second was eight. I'm not sure that's even important, but whatever. Well done. We saved a piece of data from the virus. Until we discovered what the virus wanted with this, I'll encrypt it and store it somewhere safe. Okay. I decoded the, what this da uh, data block contains. It seems to be a tree. Uh, okay. That's not your job. Your job is to protect the information. If the virus wanted, wanted it then, then it must be important, right? Huh. I was expecting it to be attacking something more crucial. Very well. I'll be ready when the virus targets another item. Okay, cool. You do that. I'd hate to start from scratch all over again with another one of you. Okay, jeez, coffee. I didn't think you'd be this mean. <laughs> All right, now we're back to the home base, I guess. All right, you know what? I'm gonna end this uh, video here because that f uh, that fight took way longer than I thought. It it's just my second attempt. Seriously, my second attempt. 
which is just crazy. So, I gotta say, this game is pretty cool. I was planning to play the the prequel to this game called The Desolate Room, but I have problems actually recording that game and the game crashed, so... I don't know how other people were able to record it, but... Hey, what can you do? So, next time I call plays, when I play a scary game, uh, a, fun, a funny game, or even a weird game, stay tuned to find out. See you guys later.